bocsássák meg, hogy én teszem fel ezeket a kérdéseket, az elkultúra.hu-nak a kollégája megbetegedett. Hát, bocsássom meg, hogy én teszem fel ezeket a kérdéseket önnek, az elkultúra.hu kollégája megbetegedett, úgyhogy én fölolvasom ezeket a kérdéseket, amit nekem még most nyomtak a kezembe. Az első, azt tudjuk, hogy vallásos közegben nőtt föl. Milyen szerepe van a vallásnak jelenleg az életében? The role of um. Well, I, I was born in a, what you call Vekelsrörelse. Uh, that means a religious movement outside the church. And I, by the way, I have written uh, Levi's Journey. It's a, it's a novel about the Pentecostal movement, who was uh, extremely strong in Sweden. And, and, um, and we have uh, five, six other different Becker Sorrells uh, who have played an important role in uh, the Swedish society. Uh, so I am born in... Uh, I am born in a world that is um, very religious. And my first uh, book that I was reading and rereading was the Bible. And the Old Testament was an exciting book, full of blood and killing. I loved it. And um, uh, that's a book you could read. Uh, I. Uh, let's see, I, I never had any dramatic exit to religion. I'm still interested. I'm still, I still have the new version of the Bible about my bookshelf reading and checking the differences in the translation. I, uh, I am uh, interested in religious or existential questions. Which is natural if you are born that way, the first 15 years you are in it, and you can never get rid of it. But uh, I think that when I am dead, I am dead. And uh, if you want to heaven, please do it now in your lifetime. And uh, since I have seen the hell, I know that hell is even on your lifetime. So I couldn't uh, explain it more uh, clearly, but uh, that's the way it is. I'm still sitting with my feet in the religious clay, and I could never get lost. That is difficult to translate. <laughs> If, if you could have an active sport, or man of shag, many, many a race as ill as in a current test more than if you keep it up over the years, you Yes. I'm still uh, playing tennis once a week. Uh, I try to keep my feet moving. I'm, I hate running. Uh, but I'm active or whatever. But I mean, I couldn't, um, if you are 76, you couldn't do high jumping or long jumping or even even running. Um, but uh, it has to be a ball. If you have a ball and playing with a ball, I love it. Még ha megenged kettő kérdést, akkor felteszek. Élete során többször is történelmi események résztvevője volt, de akkoriban nem, tudomás, nem tudatosult önben, mennyire fontosak ezek a történések. Mi lehetett ennek az oka? Well, sometimes you, uh, if you are too close to center, uh, you don't see what is happening. And um, uh, it's uh, something like that. You have to go back home and uh, watch the CNN uh, to say, oh, Jesus Christ, what is so important? 
I wouldn't say that I've been close to uh, central political uh, incidents, but um, I sometimes yes, and uh, I I uh, before 1989 I, I used to uh, I had the good uh, good fortune to uh, write about write theater in the 70s. And it was my plays were played very much, even in the East Bloc, so to speak. So I could uh, travel in uh, the other part of the world uh, very much. And uh, that was very interesting. And I, loved, uh, I met a lot of uh, writers and theater people and um, that most of Swedish writers didn't, didn't do at that time. So. Uh, well. És akkor még egy utolsó kérdést akkor hadd olvassam föl. Az életművéből teljesen kilóg a három barlang hegye című mesekönyv. Az unokáig úgy szólták, vagy más apropója volt a megírásának? The motivation was that I have uh, a lot of grandchildren and I wanted to write a story for them, giving them as a Christmas gift. So I wrote this little book. Uh, and I wanted to make uh, that in five copies and give them as a Christmas gift, not publishing it. Then my publisher, I asked my publisher, couldn't you send someone to make five copies of, it, of the manuscript? But he read it and said, I think that's a good story. And he wanted to publish it. And he is not, uh, it was very quickly translated to 26 languages. And um, uh, was even a bestseller in Germany. And as a matter of fact, I love the book. And I wasn't, I wasn't writing, I've written now two children's books. One came three months ago. And I, I never write for children with my, so to speak, with my left hand. I'm doing it exactly as serious as I do my other books. And um, uh, maybe even more serious. Uh, because I want to tell them a story that's included them. And they are the heroes of the book. And my dog is a hero. And I am the hero. <laughs> and some hate it and some love it. So that's why. <laughs>